You know what cigarettes are, and you probably heard of menthol cigarettes. But what is menthol? Menthol is the chemical found in mint plants. It can also be created in a lab. Tobacco companies add menthol to cigarettes and other tobacco products. Some of the best known brands are Newports, Cools, and Salem's. Menthol gives tobacco a minty flavor, but that's not all. Menthol is also an anesthetic, meaning it gives a numbing sensation. That's why it's in products like cough drops and chapstick. When a person smokes a menthol cigarette, the anesthetic soothes the throat and lungs, making the smoke feel less harsh. That soothing feeling is fine when it's from a cough drop, but when it's in a cigarette, it's a terrible thing. The menthol makes it easier to smoke because you're not feeling the harmful effects. But those harmful effects are still here. You're still delivering tar and cancer causing chemicals into your body. You just can't feel it. My name is Luntrell, and I feel that the youth has been misled by the tobacco industry lies. They say if you smoke menthols, you'll be cool, but it can actually lead to harmful diseases. My name is Mohammed. I feel disrespected. It's not okay they target us as a community with their menthol product. Menthol cigarettes are no safer than non-menthol ones. Menthol cigarettes are the most common cigarettes in the African-American community. There's a good reason for that. The tobacco companies put African Americans in menthol ads and they heavily advertise in black communities. Before they were banned in 1998, there were more than twice as many cigarette billboards in black neighborhoods than in white neighborhoods. My name is Glenn and I do not want tobacco products in our community. My uncle has died from lung cancer and I don't want nobody else to die from cancer. For 65 years, the tobacco industry has targeted African Americans with menthol. Think about it. 65 years ago was the beginning of the civil rights movement. That's how long the tobacco industry has been working to manipulate us. They've been tricking people into associating menthol smoking with African-American culture and black pride. My name is Yashay. I feel manipulated by the tobacco industry. They make us think that menthols are fun and flavorful, but in reality, their cigarettes are killing our communities. Let's dig a little deeper. During the 1960s and the 70s, the cool menthol brand created campaigns using our images and our slang like that's cool or be cool, to manipulate us into buying menthols. My name is Olivia and I feel fooled and deceived because the tobacco industry claims that we are one, we are equal, and we all have the same rights. But in all actuality, we don't. And it's been that way for over 50 years. Internal documents from the tobacco industry prove their real intentions. Like this quote from an executive at RJ Reynolds, maker of Salem cigarettes. Since younger adult blacks overwhelmingly prefer menthol cigarettes, Continue emphasis on Salem with the black market is recommended. Or this quote from Brown and Williamson Tobacco, maker of cool cigarettes. Menthol brands have been said to be good starter products because new smokers appear to know that menthol covers up some of the tobacco taste, and they already know what menthol tastes like, like candy. And finally, this quote from Lower Lard Tobacco, makers of Newport. The success of Newport has been fantastic during the past few years. Our profile taken locally shows these brands being purchased by black people all ages, young people usually college age, but the base of our business is the high school student. This still goes on today, with brands like Newport advertising heavily in our communities, using the same type of images they have for decades. The results have been devastating. The CDC reports that each year, smoking-related diseases kill more African Americans than AIDS, car crashes, murders, and drug and alcohol abuse combined. Menthol is a big reason why. 88% of all black smokers and 83% of black youth smokers choose menthol cigarettes, compared to only 26% of all white smokers. Research suggests that those disease rates may be because of the menthol. Black smokers are among the most motivated to quit, but the menthol makes it harder, and they are less likely to quit successfully. African Americans aren't alone in being targeted. Menthol tobacco is also promoted to young people, women, Latinos, and the LGBTQ community. My name is TQ, and I feel disrespected by tobacco companies because they specifically target black people to buy these daily products. My name is Ashanti, and I'm frustrated about how they try to target young African Americans with flavored cigarettes. The tobacco companies know that once they establish a connection with a community, it becomes harder for individuals to break free. So know the facts, share the facts. Visit stillaproblem.com for more information.